to. We're here today to honor an amazing Hawaiian. I'm not going to get emotional. <laughs> Carissa, it's so exciting to just stand here and look at you today after winning a fourth world title on Maui just over the weekend. And the reason why we're standing here today, I would like to bring you forward to stand by Duke. Let's welcome her. <laughs> The reason why we chose this location is because today we bridge a hundred years of history and surfing history. We're connecting the godfather of surfing, Duke Paul Kahanamoku, one of the absolute legends of Hawaii. An Olympian, a gold medal Olympian, who had a dream one day that surfing would be in the Olympic Games. And today, right here with Duke, we welcome Carissa Moore, who will be that person, the Hawaiian, the first Hawaiian, to represent Hawaii and surfing. And we're gonna hear from Carissa in just a little bit. Carissa, I'd love you to have just a few moments with your family. And we're gonna move through just a few brief proceedings and uh, thank and welcome a few people. And then we're gonna be hearing from you soon. Thank you. <laughs> A very special mahalo to Maka Cousin Fisher for that beautiful ole this morning. We love to open with the right protocol here in Hawaii, and that was it. I'd also like to thank Grant Kono. If you were here for half an hour, you got to listen to Grant share some really beautiful stories uh, and mele from Hawaii. I'd like to thank the Hawaii Tourism Authority, who has recognized that surfing is Hawaii's sport and will celebrate that sport as we head into the Olympic Games and who will celebrate surfing like no other nation on this planet will ever celebrate surfing. Thank you to uh, Chris Tatum, who I believe is here today, the CEO of Hawaii Tourism Authority for helping to make this possible, and all of your team, Chris Sariasu, Kalani Ka'anaana, the list goes on. It's a really fantastic organization. The community is important to them. Finding these community moments that we can all share in and celebrate together with people like you, Carissa, is the reason why they exist. So thanks for everybody coming down today. If you look around you, Carissa, you're going to see quite a few representatives from our government here in Hawaii that have come out to pay tribute to you today. And I'd like to recognize them for their time and their efforts today. State Senator Sharon Moriwaki, representing this very district that we stand on here in Waikiki. Thank you, Sharon. State Senator Kurt Favela, member of the Senate Tourism Committee and representing Eva Beach and Eva. Thank you. State Representative, State Representative Daniel Holt, Vice Chair of the House Tourism and International Affairs Committee and representing Committee and Chinatown. And State Representative Sean Quinlan, representing Oahu's North Shore, which no one knows better than you because you've ripped so many big waves out there, Carissa. <laughs> Thank you. So we're here at Waikiki, it's where you learn to surf, and we bridge that hundred years between the two of you, and uh, I'd like to call you up first to just share a little bit about your history and growing up here, and then I'm also going to have Mike McCartney close us out today with a few words uh, from Hawaii for you. Alana? You know, I, I don't want to spend this time talking too much about myself. I, I just, you know, it's been an emotional past couple of days. I can't keep myself from crying. Um, I just want to say thank you so much for all of you guys coming to celebrate and be a part of this special moment for me. And for me, this win was more than just another world title. It was, um, I felt like I won this with so many people behind me. So for me, this. This one is for my family, my friends, for all of you, for Hawaii. Um, I am so extremely proud and honored to be uh, qualifying for the Olympics to represent the USA, but more importantly, Hawaii. This is my home here, my people, these are my waters. Um, I am so excited to be able to be a part of history and to hopefully go to the Olympics and share the same Aloha spirit that Duke shared. Um, and yeah, just thank you WSL for a 
a wonderful season for giving us a platform to, you know, to live my dreams, to hopefully inspire other people to live their dreams. And um, I have an incredible family of sponsors, of friends, my husband, my dad, my little sister, my mom, my grandparents, oh my gosh, the list goes on of people that, like, this would not have been possible without so many people. So thank you, and thank Mahalo. Thanks so much. <laughs> This is a special day because you stand in the shadow group in Mamala Bay and there's so many people that came before you that made it possible and they're looking down on you and they're sending you their love. From your auntie real son who said surf it aloha and Duke and so many more and so the people of Hawaii are proud of you and we know that you're going to be a great ambassador of aloha and so on behalf of the state of Hawaii and all the people of Hawaii, Governor Yige wanted to give you this, and this is the um, state law on the lowest spirit, and it talks about who we are as a people, place, and culture, of which you already know, and it also is based on Ati Pilahi Pati, who said, as the world searches for peace, the world will turn to Hawaii. Aloha and mahalo. Good luck to you. Thank you, Mike. That was amazing. And that really is what is going to be very special and unique about Carissa. We will have 20 men and 20 women from the World Surf League representing surfing in the uh, Tokyo 2020 Games. But we will have, right now, as of now, we have one Hawaiian. And the spirit of aloha that she will bring to the Games and through surfing, delivering her community as well to that place is going to be very special. We're going to close out right now with one final uh, tribute, I guess we're going to call it. And that is going to come from somebody who has been a huge part of Carissa's fourth world title and qualification. Um, I think it would be fair to say that the fourth title has been a long time coming and the hardest one to get and the most well-deserved. And no one knows that better than Luke, your husband. He's going to speak today. Thank you. And thank you, everybody, for coming. <laughs> Yeah, well, I guess first of all, I just want to thank every one of you for coming out and showing support to this. Uh, thank you, WSO, for everything that you did for you know women surfing this year, the last few years, and putting on this great celebration. It's only fitting. It's in front of the Duke statue. Um, yeah, first of all, Chris, um, congratulations. Uh, you are the most badass, driven, competitive humble and gracious person that I know and uh, yeah you're more than deserving this and everything that comes after it. Um, this year was as you know not an easy one. Uh, it was probably actually the longest year of my life and I didn't even do anything. Um, but it was well worth it and it was an incredible journey and yeah it was, it was the coolest experience of just witness how driven and <laughs> um, I wasn't ready for this, but um, no, and it's, it's been an incredible journey, and yeah, you, you completely deserve it. And um, yeah, I think the biggest thing that you said the last few days is that you know this win is a, feels a little bit more special, and that's because we got to share it with. All these people that love and support you. And like they say, you know, it's, it takes a village to raise a child. I think it took this entire village to win this world title. Um, and I think all these people, everyone that supports you and loves you, you know, isn't here because just because you rip in water, but it's because you've been able to touch and inspire and share your love with each and every one of us. And that's what makes you special and unique and, and so easy to love. And I think, maybe I'm just speaking for myself, but I feel like the world feels right when Chris is broke down. Um, so, this is a big thank you to everyone here and everyone who's stressed and supported and been along this journey with you. And, and I think you made, definitely are making you proud. Love you so much. And 
And that concludes everything today, but you're not done because there are definitely going to be a few interviews. Thank you to all of the media for coming out and covering one of the most special moments in Hawaiian sporting history. Thank you for joining us today and safe travels. Aloha. <laughs> okay, Luke. Yep. I've got your trivia question for today. Yes. What is Carissa's middle name and what does it mean? It's Carissa Kainani more, and Kainani means pretty sure it's beautiful ocean. Yep. And, you know, you win a prize when you play this game, right? Oh yeah, I'm ready for my prize. Oh, no way. Oh, no way. Oh, that's beautiful. Um, Luke Unterman, I'm Chris's husband. And I just won Surf Trivia. All right. No, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Oh man, see how much I know about surfing. I don't know how much I know. Oh no. I'm gonna guess 2011, 2013, 2015, 2019. Woo! <laughs> Sweet. Thank you. My name is Matt Hong and I live here on Oahu.